Hey, welcome back. So in today's video, it's gonna be a two part where it's gonna be the first on how to program these keys when we need like software and stuff like that. And then I will have links of course in the bottom the description, but then how to prep the software and tools and then programming a brand new key like this. So in the past, we could not use the Smart Pro, the Altel, the Cam 100, anything like that to program these. We have to use like that adapter and dealer software, NASTA, things like that, very complicated, um, doable on my end, but then very expensive, not really worth it when it comes to that. Um, but now I found an easier way that's maybe like 15 minutes total, maybe 20 minutes total after doing everything. So let's get started. Um, so to do these keys, we're gonna need to get our Altel. And again, it's gonna be that V200. It comes with the KM100. I just put this little flag on here so I don't lose it when it's stuck in that OBD, but we're gonna use that. We're also gonna use the cable that goes in here. That's a USB-C and it goes and it goes to a USB and that's gonna plug into the, the laptop. Now, before we get started, we're going to go to the Altel's website under software-downloads and we're gonna download here. You'll notice it'll say J2534. That's gonna be like that that adapter, that reader for doing those GM type keys. So cool, we download that, we click on that. I'll cut away to the prompts. So once we have that downloaded on your, your laptop, as you see, I got it all right here. Cool, pretty straightforward. Um, if you can download other things and open, unzip, you're good to go. Then what we have to do is we have to go to the AC Delco website. Links will be, or the website links will be in the description below. And we're gonna have to make an account, or it's your, your name, your password, all that stuff. Um, Make sure you have a long enough username and password, otherwise it rejects it. So make up a new one for whatever you do, delegate, dele, delegate it for this one. But once we get started, we're gonna have to wait for the VIN number. I have the customer on the way right now, but we have to type in the VIN number just to get the next part, which is that Tech Connect like app. What we wanna do is see here where it says Service Programming System or SP2S, or sorry, or SP S2. Jeez, it's early, need more coffee. But we're gonna get that option. We're gonna click on here and it will have for $45 per VIN number per usage. So what I'm gonna do is I did watch a video online to kind of resource and learn about this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep everything. We're gonna download that Tech Connect on the laptop. Then we're done, kind of like we have everything set up. And then we just go to the vehicle and it's about like a 15 minute process. So cool. So side note for the checkout, I was using Firefox. It would not process the payment. I switched to Google Chrome and it worked fine. Uh, now I'm gonna go to subscriptions after it's been paid. And I have one available. Let's do view. Okay, let's do add VIN. So now I'm gonna add the VIN. So I didn't even add the VIN just yet, but it popped up with this. Cool, let me get started. So I'm gonna type in add VIN. Oh, okay, I guess that's the thing it wants to do. Let's go ahead and go up to download. Wanna download that. So you have to download it and then we can launch it. and it's downloading up here, cool. Okay, it's downloaded. Let's go ahead and open. Oh, it's thinking. Okay, let's go ahead and launch. And 
and we are plugged in with our, we are in the vehicle obviously, but we're plugged in to the V200 cable. As you can see, we are plugged in. And again, we have Wi-Fi and using the phone's hotspot for this location. Okay, we're still installing. Okay, cool, looks like we're, gotta download some more. So we just, I guess, installed or downloaded and we're just waiting to do everything. It's quite a long process. And then now we're basically done. We have to walk through and set this up. And after it downloaded everything, now it's just doing this on autopilot. And good, this was the screen we're looking for. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so we got the VIN typed in. Now it, it's selected. Not able to do anything that. Let's go ahead and hit select. Okay, we have that option and we want to reprogram. Let's go ahead and hit next down on the bottom. Eating up battery power. We want to click on Immobilize or Learn. And next, it'll say this. Yeah, that's fine, let's proceed. And again, the vehicle is in on mode, but not the engine. And it's popping up and let's go ahead and look at what we have. We have Program Transponder or Remote. We have an Add Key delete key let's click on add key let's hit next next okay it says close the door but we don't have to
cool. And we're gonna wait. And we already found the prox pocket. The prox pocket is gonna be in here. Okay, it says it's locked. Okay, so it didn't connect. Um, so looking online, I guess using this as a learning experience, we would, when it finishes, we would essentially put this in the prox pocket, like so, add, um, press the push start button, kind of like a regular procedure, and then follow the prompts.